Hello, welcome back. Uh, so in this exercise, now we're going to look at point estimates, uh, but this time point estimates of proportions uh, rather than means that we looked at in some of the other recent videos. So this is an interesting, well, I thought it was an interesting article um, by the Pew Research Center. They asked registered voters, actually they asked a sample of 1,655 registered voters in the U.S. about the importance of these various issues in deciding who they're going to vote for in the upcoming 2016 election. So, part A, what is the sampled population for this study? Well, they only sampled registered voters, so that's really the only population that we can really draw any conclusions or make any inferences about, um, because that's the, the limitations of their, their targeted population, which just registered voters. Uh, so the economy was cited as very important by 84% of the respondents. Estimate the number of respondents who believe this issue uh, is very important. So, so the, the number of, of respondents, well, here I've got my sample size was 1655. Of those, 84% found this to be very important. So if we, where'd my calculator go here? So if we just punch these numbers into our calculator, I have 84% of 1655. So 1390.2, there's probably some rounding error there because it's tough to have 0.2 of a, of a person. Um, but uh, that's, that's the best we can do. 1390.2 would be the number of respondents who found this issue to be very important. Uh, healthcare was cited as very important by 1,225 respondents. Estimate the proportion of registered voters in the U.S. who believe this issue is very important. So now we're kind of going the opposite way. We're going to calculate the proportion that corresponds to that value. So we're looking at a sample proportion. This is uh, 1,225 out of those 1,655. So now this is going to be equal to, let's give it the calculator. Sorry, I had it off screen last time. Uh, 1225 divided by 1655. So we have 74, 74% of registered voters. So we can extrapolate that from the sample, right? So that's the proportion of the sample, 1655. But this is our point estimate of the population proportion, right? So our population here is uh, registered voters. So the inference that I can make here is that uh, given 74% of my sample found this to be very important, I can estimate 74% of the population of registered voters uh, found who would cite health care uh, as being very important. Same idea when we look at the next one, Part D, we're looking at foreign policy. So here, this sample proportion, this is 1241 out of 1655. And so in this, this calculation here is 1241 over 1655. 70, let's round that to 75, so pretty close to healthcare. 75% uh, of registered voters found uh, foreign policy to be very important. So again, I'm taking this point estimate, this is a proportion of my sample, and I'm inferring as to the, the, the whole population. So 75% of registered voters, voters uh, find foreign policy to be very important. So what is the target population for the inferences in part C and D? Well, this is what I've been referring to, and this is what we talked about before. The the proportion of registered voters is my target population. This is the same as who we sampled, right? Up in part A, we sampled registered voters. I'm making inference uh, from that sample from of registered voters. I'm making inferences specific to that population. So I'm only talking about registered voters. Would it be accurate, so a part, uh, the next segment of that question, would it be accurate to extend these inference to the entire US population? Well, maybe not, uh, because in order to vote, you have to be 18 plus, right? So there's a whole segment of the population that is actually omitted uh, from, from the samples 
uh, from the sample that it was taken. Now, of course, they can't vote anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter what they think. <laughs> Maybe not. But is it is it accurate to extend that to the entire population uh, to say that 14-year-olds all feel the same way as a registered voter? Um, probably maybe not so we can't take these inferences and extend them beyond just the sampled population uh, wouldn't be fair wouldn't be accurate to do so so there we have it uh, our, our point estimates have proportions and some of the limitations as far as uh, what we can do with those and making inference about the, the larger population so hopefully this was helpful uh, maybe even interesting. Um, I guess we'll we'll see. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.